guys, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today is day four of my 12 days of Christmas and today I am going to show you how to create a really cute like placeholder that can be used for either your food placement or for your seating placement and it's really easy and it's going to be really cute. So let me get... So here are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need your glue gun, a glue stick. You're going to need a paper clip, some ornaments, not necessarily these ornaments, but these were the ornaments that I chose to use, Mod Podge, glitter of your choice, and a paintbrush. So the first thing that I want to do here is um, we are going to take these off of this board and prep, um, prep them by taking um, okay so the first thing we're going to do is take these off the board and we're going to um, put some glue here where this little knob is right here and we want it to be flat because we want this to be able to sit up so I'm going to come back and I'll show you when that is done okay so I had to improvise with this so what I'm now gonna have to add because this glue did not allow it to stick I have a bottle top and so we're gonna just glue the bottle top here make sure that it is straight or you can do it like to the side that would be cute too so I think that's what I'll do some of them I will have straight down some I'll have to the side and then we're gonna camouflage this bottle top so you won't know it's a bottle top and we're gonna put glitter on that also so you can either um, add the glitter let it dry and put it on here or you're gonna you could do like I'm gonna do and that is just simply adding the glitter to the bottle top and this is just a water bottle top you could use um, any type of bottle top just as long as it has a flat surface and so that your um, your ornament now will be able to stand up and of course you can if you like you can spray paint it but since I've already started this DIY I'm gonna opt not to spray paint it and like I said I'm just gonna mod podge it and put glitter on it and then when the glitter is dry we're gonna put another coat of mod podge on it so it will um, eliminate some most of the fallout so I'm holding this here and pressing it down firmly and now it should stand there we go so it is now standing that is what I wanted just like this and so now we got have the Mod Podge here and we just go over this with um, not too much because you know it'll clump up although it it dries clear it will clump up so just put a nice little amount on here and all over actually and I thought this would be a really cute easy DIY and it is easy I just had to improvise a little bit and um, and I think it'll look it'll just look great it'll look really pretty on your table Oh yeah, that is really pretty. Okay, and then we would just, this is what it looks like. Really pretty. I'm really impressed with how this looks. So we'll, I'm just gonna place it and sit it upside down like this so now that this part can dry and I'm surprisingly guys I'm using another top to sit this in so I have another one here that's drying and I just use my Mod Podge top like this 
and what I'm going to do is place this upside down in here so that it can dry and then um, we'll go to the next step okay now for this one what I opted to do is to use one of the bottoms from the tea light candles and let's see how that works I think it will work perfect Now the hardest part I see here is because the lip is very thin, but we're going to see how that works. Okay. Oh, she probably pee. Uh -huh. And there we go like this. And then gonna go ahead and put the Mod Podge on here and I think this one would work really nicely and if you burn a lot of tea light candles you would readily have this available okay and just like the other one I'm just gonna put it on here you know a little sparsely because I don't want any clumps and do the same for the bottom here and we're just gonna glitter it. Okay. And then we're gonna let it dry. And then once it all dries, we'll come back. All right, so this is how they're looking. Now they can stand up. They're so pretty. They are so pretty. And it's almost like I imagined. So what you can do here now, we need to have something that we can put our place cards in. And so what I initially thought about doing was using a paper clip. And a paper clip would be perfect because it's made out of the same metal the same type of material that you see on the the hook attachment of our ornament but then i had these other paper clips that had like some gold designs on there and i thought that it would look better and so i opted to just use this and you just simply attach it to the metal attachment and here is our final result guys i am like blown away these turned out beautifully. They're easy to make. They're very inexpensive and they give a lot of wow to your place setting. So like I said, you can use these for place settings so people would know where they sit or you can use them how I plan on using them as um, food identifiers. Your menu identifiers are perfect and they're very festive. You can have them glittered a variety of type of colors and even the base how about spray painting the base so it would just seem like one seamless cohesive design so guys i hope you enjoyed this day of our 12 days of christmas i have more diys more planning and just a lot more festive diys and holiday decor coming up so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my upcoming holiday uploads. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this. But before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.